Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Boomtown Deluxe. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about 6 bucks. It's important to note that I just got my press key today, so this is going to be a first impressions video. I'll be learning as I go. So here's a look at the main menu. Play, scores, and achievements. You've got settings in the upper left-hand corner. Sound and music toggles. No sliders, so the sound effects may be loud, I'm not sure. Particle effects, full screen, and quit to menu. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot, see if I like it. Please choose a scenario to play. Sandbox? Oh good, I was worried about that. Um, I prefer to see sandbox modes in any City Builder-esque kind of game I play. Gold Bloom? No, Gold Boom. I'm so yeah, Gold Bloom. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen Independence Day 2 yet, but I don't think he's in this game at all. That's Jeff Goldblum, for those of you that don't know that. Anyway, uh, yeah, Gold Boom, Tax Haven, Badlands, and Lakesides. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do Sandbox, just so we can sort of get a feel of how the game is played. Welcome to Boomtown. Build a thriving town by mining gold on the mountainside. Alright, so here's a couple thousand bucks. Select an area to mine. Mine gold ore using explosives. Collect the gold ore in your truck. Spend your cash building amenities to create a Boomtown. Oh, it looks like I can choose between different plots of land. Nightmare Dale. Hagden Crevice. Sparkly Gorge. Hidden Crevice, Grand Ravine, and Coyote Canyon. Let's go ahead and do Nightmare... Uh, I don't know Nightmare Dale. Does that, that doesn't sound too nice. Alright, well, let's do it. Your first day. You start each day in the mine shop. Try to get in the habit of buying some explosives. Before anything else, you'll need them to go mining for gold. Buy four of the cheapest explosives to continue. Okay. Now you're all set to go mining. You have some cash left over, so maybe think about buying an upgrade or starting your town. When you're ready to continue the day, click on the Mine Gold button. Now, so it's a turn-based game? Alright, I can upgrade my truck, increase the amount of ore you, your truck carries, or increase my engine. There's a refinery. Increase the amount of gold you extract from your ore. I kind of like that. Permit. Increase the number of power and permitted explosives. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do... Yeah, I'm going to do faster trucks and stuff, and maybe the load. Alright, um, now how much does it cost to build a town? To build a successful town, heed this advice. Attract people to your town by building saloon shops and more. People will move to the town, building tents and houses. Build a saloon first, and over a few days it will start to move in around it. Oh, okay. You'll unlock more buildings as the population grows. Every building has a set of stats you want to pay attention to. Dev potential affects how many people will move into the area around this building. If it's not high enough in the area, then development will stop. Uh, growth speed affects how fast people will move into the area around the building, and some buildings will earn you some cash. All right, I'm not going to remember all this, by the way. I don't have a photographic memory, so I may forget some of that. Um, I'll do the best I can. Every building has an area of influence. Other buildings inside the area will gain from this building, making the area more attractive. Try to put different buildings close together for the best effect. All right. Many buildings have other stats, healthcare, crime, food, demand, happiness, cleaning services, water, power, and steel. At some point, your townsfolk will demand water, power, and steel. Look out for these icons. Okay. Booster buildings. Look out for bu buildings that act as boosters for other buildings. Farmland boosts grocery stores, enabling them to handle more demand. All buildings that have a supply limit will also receive a boost if they have access to power and water. Unhappy people and supply problems. All right. Hopefully that uh, is available again at some point in the future. Okay, there's good. Just clicking that help button up there, I can see that again. Okay, um, so what exactly? Okay, WASD moves the camera around. Very basic looking map, very pixelated, but you know, that can be deceiving sometimes. As long as the gameplay is there. Um, so I guess on the left hand side is my, um, is that a, just I guess a filter? So I can, a viewing filter? There's a demolished thing there, buildings. All right, I want to... Okay, so the build menu is on the very bottom. There's $1,500 for that. Build industry, build amenities, build civic. So did I not do it? Should I not have created all that stuff, maybe? All right, so how do I actually get them out to mine gold and make me money? That's even possible. All right, done. Achievements. All right, mine gold. Select and place all explosives, then press detonate. Bigger explosives will yield more gold. Look out for survey result markers. You'll get some free survey early on, but you'll have to buy a surveyor's office. When you find a good patch of gold, keep mining the same area until it runs out. Your best and worst areas from yesterday will be marked. Yeah. 
locate gold reserves. Try locating in this, try mining in this area to locate a gold reserve. Okay, so I guess that's what this is here. One, two, three, four. Go. Cool. Drive your truck with WASD cursor keys or mouse click. Collect the ore. Lots of gold, little no gold. Drop the ore off at the drop zone. The day will end when you collect all the ore or run out of fuel. All right. I gotta be efficient about this then. What is that thing? Is that a tin can. Oh, find tin can achievement one out of twenty-five. All right. Well, let's. So yeah, we gotta be efficient with our fuel then. You can see the fuel and load on the bottom there. Seems like the fuel only goes down when I move, which is good. All right, so it looks like I'm, yeah, I need to get to the drop zone, drop some of this off. Okay, and let's see if we can get over there and get back before, I don't know if we're going to make it. Ah, okay, it automatically does that. Okay, gold report, ore collected, gold refined, gold price, 868 per kilogram. Okay, so buy vault for 1500 Okay, gold price, gold refined. Gold price is going down, so maybe I might want to hold on to it. Sell to market and save game. Alright, so maybe I don't have a choice. Maybe I have to sell it to the market. Oh, buy a vault. I guess that means I can store the gold for future selling. Otherwise, I'm forced to sell it. Growth rate is terrible. I figured that because I don't have a town yet. Alright, sell to market. Okay, so I've got 2,117 bucks now. Uh, yeah, let's get more explosives. And we're going to want... Hmm. Actually, let's build that town now. I want to see how that works. Saloon. Hmm. Industry. Amenities. Build civic. There's nothing. Okay. Um, so what's the, what's, why would I not, all right, so I guess the question is, what I'm trying to say is, like, why, is it important to build a town early on, or should I just concentrate on getting gold? Maybe I need, I need that surveyor's office at some point, so I'm not going to be able to survive forever on the gold here, so I guess I do have to get something at some point. So, I guess I'll put this here. All right, done. And mine gold. Two. Can I mine in the same place? Okay. Oh, that gold just flew all over the place. Oh, diamonds. Nice. In there. Okay, let's... Drop this off, and we can go out and get more. Um, man, that thing just flew all the way over here. There we go. Got all the gold, I think. Is there, oh, there's some up here. There we go. Buy vaults. I don't, I don't have the money for it. Sell to market. Okay, uh, again, more explosives. Hmm. This is interesting so far. I mean, it's got like a... I wasn't expecting a turn-based system for a city. Usually city builders are uh, real-time, but I wasn't expecting turn-based. It's really cool. I mean, I'm, I'm having a good time with it so far. There's a lot of uh, potential here. Low gold price? Store your gold until it improves. I might want to consider doing that, or I could build more... Now that some people have moved into town, you're going to have to keep them happy. There are six main factors that affect happiness. House over a house tend to... Okay, hover over a house to... Yeah, I was about to say house over a house. Hover over a house tend to view them. The bigger the bar, the more this factor is negatively affecting this resident's happiness. Hunger, grocery stores are needed, illness, doctors or hospitals, dirt, refuse facilities or sewage works, crime, sheriffs and prisons, shops... Uh, out of supplies, negative shopping experience. This area, improve the area by parks, churches, schools. Okay. Use the handy overlay buttons over to the left of the build screen to view a general overview. Okay. All right. Good luck. Housing. Hunger. Well, there's a little water symbol. Some townsfolk needs water to upgrade their tents to shacks. 
Um, amenities. Water tower. All right. Well, let's put let's put that right here. Okay. I have some money left. Done. And let's upgrade. I do want a vault. Let's take a look back to the report. The gold price is going up for right now. It seems to be. I guess that's good. All right. Back to upgrades. So I don't think we need to store anything yet. Uh, the refinery, increase the amount of gold you extract from your ore. I, I like that because more gold is better. So why don't we do that? Um, better traction for the truck. I kinda, Yeah. <laughs> that thing was sliding all over the place. Um, and... Mm, number of... Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what's this? Is that more explosives, or, like, what's the benefit of those? All right, mine gold. Find out. Okay, um, let's put this right dead center here. And then we'll do, like, one, two, three, four. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Okay. So I guess the trick here is not to mine too much too quickly, because... Um, your truck can only holds so much, and you're, you'll run out of fuel and lose the opportunity to mine all this gold, so, um, it makes sense to upgrade your truck first before you go mining too much. Alright, down, I'm trying to be the most efficient, okay, down there, and that's it, great. Alright, gold prices, yes, yeah, not, not bad, sell to market. All right, I've got some more money. Uh, build town. Build amenities. Okay, just that's all I could do right now. I already have a saloon. Nothing else really to build at this point. So done. Um, why don't we upgrade our? Well, we need some explosives. Um, I could do five of those. Huh. Okay. Um, why don't we do again refinery? Uh, let's upgrade our. Load. Engine. There we go. Mine gold. And we've got five, so... Best. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then. Um, this is going to be fun. Good thing I upgraded my truck. What was that? That ore. There's a diamond up there. Okay, let's let's come back here and drop this off. There we go. Alright, we've got plenty of fuel left. Alright, let's just get the rest of this. Done. Cha-ching! Gold price is up still, so that's good. Uh, sell to market. Alright, I do want that vault eventually, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Minecarts is the next upgrade there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get more explosives. We can upgrade uh, wheels, load engine again. I'm thinking... Hmm. Ref Actually, let's do the refinery. I want to try and get as much gold as possible for my buck. Um, Alright. Build town. How are we doing here? No, well, everything's okay for right now. Doesn't look like I can upgrade them manually. I think they have to do that themselves. Area. Okay, so I have to improve their area at some point, but I can't do that yet. Okay, there's more housing. Now, can I build on places I've blown up? I'm not sure. I'm kind of worried because you can build land, or build stuff over land that might contain a lot of gold. So... Like, I want to stay near my drop zone so that my truck doesn't run a gas. Like, I don't want to mine all the way out here, but at the same time... <sighs> like, this is tough. Like, I, I hope I can build over it. Like, if I do this... I can still build over it. Okay, that's good. How do I cancel this? There we go, done. Okay, um, is there a way to save it? Hmm. Alright, settings. Quit the menu. Hopefully it auto-saves. Play. I don't see a continue button. Play. 
New game or continue? Okay, so even though there was no verification that the game saved or manual prompt for me to do so, the game seemed to auto-save at the beginning of the current day. That's good to know. Okay, let's go back to the menu. Okay, so there you go. Boomtown Deluxe. Uh, really cool so far. Looking forward to unlocking more stuff. So stay tuned. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.